And we have been waiting for this for a long time. What feels like forever at this point. Very exciting as these doses roll out from Pfizer's manufacturing plant in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and we will see them here in the Chicago area very soon. D-Day was the beginning of the end, and that's where we are today. As 3 million doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine begin shipping in ultra-cold containers from the company's manufacturing site in Kalamazoo, Michigan, to more than 600 locations across the country, following the deadliest week in the U.S. since the pandemic began. The first in line starting as soon as tomorrow, the country's 21 million frontline health care workers and 3 million long-term care residents. We could have every nursing home patient vaccinated in the United States by Christmas. It's really a remarkable, remarkable prospect for all of us who have loved ones in nursing homes. The government has partnered with Walgreens and CVS Pharmacy to vaccinate long-term care residents. The companies believe they can get the job done within a month. The goal to reach 20 million vaccinations this month, 50 million by the end of January and 100 million by the end of February. This morning, the FDA commissioner responding to reports the White House threatened to speed up approval. Of course, we've been asked to speed this process as much as possible. So this did and we happen internally Friday? Been saying the same thing. The, the president has now so, said so, he did push you and it could have been out a week earlier. Is that true? We do not feel that this could have been out a week earlier. A recent survey from the Associated Press found about half the American public wants to get vaccinated as soon as possible. Another 25 percent aren't sure, and the remaining quarter said no way. That is a significant problem. I mean, if, if you think about how we get out of this pandemic, um, we have to continue our mitigation efforts right now. That is so important, mask wearing, et cetera. But the way we see light at the end of the tunnel, the way we get through this is to achieve herd immunity. The FDA commissioner was asked about the allergic reactions reported from two patients who received the vaccine in the UK. Dr. Han says right now the FDA in the United States is recommending anyone who has severe allergies to ingredients in this vaccine to hold off for now, but that distribution sites are being told to have EpiPens on hand just in case something like this happens here. Now Moderna's vaccine is being reviewed by the FDA for emergency use this coming week with possible shipments of that vaccine. Millions of of them the week of Christmas. So there is light at the end of the tunnel.